my name is Janika and welcome to this video. This morning I woke up in Zwolle where we are renting out an apartment for a few days and exploring the city. If you haven't seen that video yet, it should be up before this one. So if you're interested to see what the city of Swalla looks like, you should definitely check it out. Today we are doing a day trip somewhere else, somewhere that is relatively close by the Swalla. To be exact, it takes about 40 minutes to drive there. And it's a place I've been wanting to visit for so long. It's one of those places that you see on Instagram constantly and a lot of people say it is the most beautiful place in the Netherlands. Well, we'll be the judges of that today, but we are going to a place called Heathorn. Heathorn is this supposedly fairy tale like Dutch city with typical Dutch houses and little canals going in between the houses. The only thing I have heard, it can get quite crowded, but I am hoping because it is a Wednesday and we're also trying to go there relatively early-ish that it won't be super, super crowded, but it is also August, so it's holiday season. So might be that we're not the only ones there. Anyway, let's start heading towards Heathorn. Luckily we have a car, so getting there shouldn't be an issue. As said, obviously the easiest way to get to Heathorn is by car, like we did. Alternatively, you can also take part of a group tour that leaves from Amsterdam, for example. Or if you don't mind traveling for a bit with public transport, you can take the train to a station called Steenwijk and from there jump on bus number 70. We have arrived to Heathorn. Let's hope we won't have issues finding a parking spot. It's only 20 past 9 a.m. So I'm hoping it's not super packed yet, but let's see. Mission success. Now our plan is to first just kind of walk around and see what it's like and hopefully get some cute photos before it's crowded. And then at around 11.45 we have a boat tour booked. So then we'll also see the city from the water because that's like the thing to do here with all the canals going in between the cute houses. And we seem to have a beautiful sunny day. I'm so happy and excited. Seems like it was a very good idea to come here early because we are like the only ones here There are only a few other people and all the shops even are only like starting to open up So we'll be able to get some cute photos and video clips and yeah Just see the scenery a little bit before it gets packed. Well, I don't know maybe on a Wednesday like today Won't get so packed. We'll we'll see later The history of Heathorn is very interesting and goes back a long way. Heathorn was founded in the 13th century when the Flagellants seeked refugee here to practice their religion in peace. The Flagellants originated from southern parts of Europe and had some unique ways of practicing their religion by whipping themselves as a penance for their sins. Later on in the 16th century also the Mennonites took refugee here who were a part of a radical Protestant movement. It wasn't until the 20th century when painters from Goy and around The Hague discovered Heathorn and it was their beautiful paintings that made the place famous in the first place. It is really really beautiful and there's almost no one here so definitely recommend coming early in the morning and it's not that early it's like almost 10 a.m but still we're one of the few people here been walking around for a little bit and we saw a nice looking terrace so we all ordered some Dutch apple pies. What a beautiful place where to eat some Dutch apple pie.
Many people call Heathorn the fairy tale Venice of the North. And I can totally understand why. It is just so beautiful here. Yeah. We've been able to enjoy this place when it's quite calm, but as you can see, the big, big tourist groups, oh my god, there's a huge group, are approaching. <laughs> We are now on the boat and you can choose two different options on how to do a boat tour here as you definitely should go in a boat and see it all from the water that's like the most popular and famous thing to do here you can either do a boat tour like we're doing which is the more budget-friendly version this takes one hour and it costed 10 euros per person or the second option is that you can rent your own boat if you do this I saw the approximate price for that is around 30 euros per hour but we decided this time to do just a canal cruise instead let's hope we'll see some beautiful views vanwege en ze wilde boete doen voor de zonde van de wereld dat was hun geloofsovertuiging dat werd verboden door de paus The boat cruise was definitely a fun way to see Heathorn from another perspective. But something you should keep in mind is that our tour that we took was completely in Dutch. Luckily I've learned some so I was able to understand some of it, but definitely not all of it. And I can imagine if some tourists are visiting for example, you would want a tour in English. So make sure to double check this before you book your tour. now came for some lunch and we kind of accidentally came to this place that is apparently quite famous a very old movie was shot here a Dutch movie and it is partially thanks to that movie that Geerthorn became so famous and visited we are gonna have lunch here now but we didn't know that we came to this movie location by accident so that's pretty cool it was the famous Dutch movie called Fanfare, which was filmed here in this restaurant and in the village of Geerthorn in 1958. It was also thanks to this movie that Geerthorn became such a popular place to visit.
we're now leaving Heathorn behind. It was very, very beautiful. I'm so happy I finally got to visit. I've been wanting to visit Heathorn for a long, long time. I definitely do recommend coming as early as possible because, yeah, the later it got, the more busy it started getting. I don't think it was so bad today. Apparently, sometimes it's so crowded you can barely walk. That wasn't the case. But, yeah, if you want to find parking, come early because now the parking places were all full. And when we came, we had no issues. And also, especially if you want to rent a boat yourself, now everyone was kind of just crashing into each other because there were so many boats and a lot of people who didn't know how to drive a boat were driving a boat, so it was a bit chaotic. So yeah, if you want to rent a boat as well, definitely, definitely come early. If you want to enjoy some peace and quiet or choose a day when it's a bit cloudy or rainy, maybe there's a bit less people then, I don't know. But we're still gonna visit one other place that's close by. It's a town called Meppel. Might as well pop in while we're in the neighborhood. So let's go and check what Meppel is like. Well, it seems like Meppel is quite a small and sleepy town. It's pretty, but nothing super special. But yeah, we're gonna start now driving back to Zwolle. So I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to join the journey on more adventures. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.